Oh, it smells amazing. Welcome to another episode of Cooking for Dummies with me, Chef Vic. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a fun, personal sized pizza that could come in handy at any barbecue or pool party. I'm going to prepare just a simple, personal sized pizza, just with simple ingredients cheese, tomato sauce, olive oil, and a little flour. Now, you could put on whatever you prefer. Just don't put pineapples. That's an infomnia. If you put pineapples on your pizza, you're dead to me. You're not a friend. You're not a fan. You're nothing. Let's keep it simple. Let's watch. Okay, first, I want to get a little flour and put it on our baking board. This board has been in my family for generations. Matter of fact, when my family came uh, to Ellis Island from Italy, uh, my great, 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 great grandmother made pizza for the whole boat. Honest to God. Okay, so now that you put the flour, I'm going to get your pizza dough. Don't forget, it's a personal size. So this is perfectly, I got this already made to save some time. That's another episode, making dough. Now, you want to get a little more flour, and you want to flip it a couple of times, make it nicey nice on both sides. And like I said before, this is a simple recipe. You're going to get your ladle. This is a ladle. Now, in the Harry Chaffin song, it was, he was originally, this is a little fun fact. That's what I love about Chef Vic. I also give you fun fact. Uh, Harry Chaffin originally wanted to call it cats in the ladle, which makes sense. I mean, after all, cats in a ladle and a silver spoon. Anyway, let's get some tomato sauce. We're going to pour it in the middle. And we're going to twirl it from the center out. See how I did that? From the center out. Let's put a little more. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's looking beautiful already. Now, we're going to get some um, mozzarella. Not mozzarella. It's mozzarella. Oh, this is going to be so nice. This is good for one person or possibly two people but I call it personal because it's good for one person. Now, like I said before, you could add mushrooms, sausage, anything your heart desires, but like I said, please do not put pineapple. I'm gonna get our uh, little olive oil. You know, speaking of olive oil, I didn't understand what Popeye saw in olive oil. Anyway, okay, so now we're ready to put it into the pizza oven. Now, your pizza oven should be heated to at least 800 degrees for a quick and proper cooking of the personal pizza. And it's a special kind of wood you have to use. You can't use any old wood. Make sure you use the proper wood. Uh, see, we have a woodchuck uh, behind those trees. So he does a great job for us. Anyway, the pizza oven is at 800 degrees. We're gonna get our pizza tool. I love this. They also come in wood, but I like these steel ones because you could also take the sun while you're baking. Okay, we're gonna slide it under there, like so, you know, all the wrist, one quick jolt. Okay, we're gonna open up the pizza oven. Wow, that's hot. Okay, and we're gonna just, now when I put it in, watch how I jerk, watch, look, see? See that, one motion. Okay, it'll literally take a good, maybe, Two minutes tops. Okay, it's been two minutes. I think it's ready. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, come on. You see, folks, with just a little bit of fun, creativity, and patience, and ingenuity, you too can make a personal sized pizza for any pool party or barbecue. Thank you for watching me. Join me again on Cooking for Dummies with me, Chef Vic.